Hello friends, today in this video, I am going to discuss about the northern blotting or northern hybridization. Northern blotting is principally similar to the southern blotting, but in southern blotting, DNA is detected and in northern blotting, RNA is detected. But there has a difference, slight difference between the northern blotting and southern blotting in their procedure. Okay, and the name northern blotting has no scientific significance. It is known as northern blotting because to show the similarity between the northern blotting with the southern blotting. Okay, now what is the function of northern blotting? Northern blotting is used to detect a specific mRNA from a cell or a particular tissue by using radio label DNA probe that is a sing short single standard DNA sequence that can hybridize with the RNA sequence and then we can detect the specific RNA molecule by autoradiography. Okay, and Norton blotting is also used to detect to measure the RNA expression in a particular gene. That means we can detect the we can detect the gene expression rate of a in a tissue or cell by measuring to by measuring the quantity of RNA present in those tissue or cell. Okay. And also northern blotting is used for disease diagnosis. That means we can, we can detect the gene expression rate in, during, uh, during disease condition. Okay, the first step of northern blotting at first we have to isolate the RNA from the tissue or cells. So the first step is cell lysis. Okay, cell lysis. And then we have to extract the total RNAs present. Okay. And then we have to inhibit the RNAs activity. We have to inhibit the RNAs activity. And then we can isolate the eukaryotic mRNA from the cellulose chromatography from the cellulose chromatography okay suppose this is the chromatography and this is the cellulose beads okay and here the cellulose beads this cellulose beads contain contain short short thymine residues thymine residues like this okay and and the mRNA molecule contain a poly A tail so that the, the mRNA molecule can bind to this region with the poly A tail like this by complementary base pairing Okay, this is the mRNA and so it will bind to these cellulose beads and other molecules other molecules will migrate and uh, remove to this through this region okay and then we can extract or isolate the mRNA from this cellulose beads okay after isolation of RNAs from the cell or tissue we can separate them by denaturing agarose gel electrophoresis here as a denaturing there is a denaturing agent we use formaldehyde which disrupt or denature the secondary structure of rnas so now the all rnas are linear and they now only separate by their molecular weight or size and give a bands give bands like this okay now after separating rna molecules by denaturing agarose gel electrophoresis according to their size then RNA molecules from agarose gel are transferred to the diazobenzyl oxymethyl paper that is the DMB paper or nylon membrane and then hybridization is done with probes okay but now the question is why the hybridization process is not done in the agarose gel the answer is agarose gel is fragile and the probe cannot hybridize with the RNA properly in the agarose gel and that's why the hybridization process is done in the 
9 on membrane. So we have to transfer the RNA molecules from the agarose gel to the 9 on membrane or DMB paper. So now for transferring or blotting the RNA molecules from agarose gel to the 9 on membrane, we have to look at this. Here the buffer solution go upwards go upwards by capillary action and carry the RNA molecules from the agarose gel to the nylon membrane and then the and then the RNA molecules stuck into the nylon membrane and buffer go further into the dry filter paper okay and when the blotting or transfer is done then this then this nylon membrane or DMB paper is removed and it is exposed to UV irradiation so that the RNA molecule can cross link tightly cross link tightly with the nylon membrane which is known as the immobilization okay now after immobilizing the RNA molecules in the nylon membrane or DBM paper next the hybridization is done by adding probes and only RNA molecule which is fully complemented to the probes will bind to each other and hybridize specifically this like this okay and other probes will non-specifically bound like this and some other probes remain unbound state okay so now after hybridization is done we have to wash this unbound and non-specifically bound probes okay and only the probe which is fully complemented to the RNA molecule is present here and now we have to press a extra plate on this nylon membrane so that this probe can give a spot on the extra plate like this this is called the auto radiography okay so now in this way we can detect a RNA molecule by northern blotting okay thank you for watching this video